Hello, Eric here with ericcompressorpartsonline.com once again. And today's video is on how to test a check valve. How to test for a defective check valve in your air compressor. Here we have a uh, small pancake six gallon portable compressor. It's an oil free direct drive compressor. You can see a little pump there. Uh, small little piston connecting rod. Real small little guy, but uh, right there and the tank with the two lines coming off the large supply line and the small nylon line uh, is your check valve. That's a three-way check valve threaded into your tank. And if your compressor is a small portable like this or even a large 120 gallon stationary compressor, it's going to have a check valve and it's going to be located in the main inlet of the tank just like you see here. It may not look just like this. For instance, it may look like this, be a more submersible check valve uh, for instance, a straight check valve. This would be threaded in your tank, and all you would see is this portion, the compression thread, essentially in the hex fitting. So it may look a little bit different, but every compressor has one uh, in the inlet of the tank. And it's a check valve, so it's a one-way valve. It's going to open up when the compressor is running to uh, charge the air into the tank. It's going to close as soon as the compressor shuts off to hold the air in the tank. So hence check valve, or one-way valve. Uh, some compressor manufacturers may call it a non-return valve, uh, one in the same kind of description, of course. All right, so it's the most common problem, I would say, with any air compressor, period. You're going to have a defective check valve if the unit leaks back after it shuts off. And so what you're going to do to test this, pretty simple. All right, you're going to fire it up, and I'm not going to do it here for the sake of the demonstration. Uh, pretty loud, you won't be able to hear me, but you would essentially charge it up, turn it on, and when it reaches maximum PSI, maximum pressure, the uh, pressure switch will shut it off, and you'll notice a leak come out of the, uh, the check valve, but it would probably leak around the uh, pressure switch. You have the unloader valve, which routes from this unloader line all the way to the unloader valve on your on-off switch. So the unloader valve may look like something like this on a larger compressor. Here's your pressure switch with the cover off, your unloader valve right here, which is a small nylon quarter-inch bleeder line would attach to. And a lot of times you'll notice when after it shuts off, the air will escape and continuously bleed out of the little weep hole um, out of this valve, the unloader valve, where the quarter inch line attaches. If it does leak out of that area constantly after the unit shuts off, you have a defective check valve. It's not sealing, it's probably debris from the pump head, could be uh, any kind of debris or even moisture from the tank has caused it to rust. And there's a little diaphragm or a ball and spring inside and it doesn't close, hence it's going to back feed all that tank pressure from your tank through the line, the main discharge line, and also put back pressure on your head, which is no good because it could blow out a gasket, and it's gonna leak uh, back through the unloader line, and again, leak out of your unloader valve. So that's the telltale sign of a bad check valve. When you shut it off, it will bleed air, usually out of this valve through the bleeder tube. And uh, if that's the case, it will constantly run, it'll you know, leak back down, cut on when it's supposed to try to recharge it there, shut off and continue to leak, so it's a cycle. So, a uh, really common problem, but very easy to fix. A lot of times you can even clean these check valves. There's a little uh, diaphragm inside here. A lot of times you have just junk or debris inside and you can clean it out. If not, replace these. We do have them, uh, they sell anywhere from about $15 to $20, or for something like this, even less expensive. Very easy fix, and it will take care of that leak and uh, cause a lot of problems if you don't. So that's uh, how to test your check valve. If you have any questions, go online. You can take a look at the various types of check valves we offer. If you click on generic air compressor parts, click on check valves from there, and we have them rated by different types, compression style fitting, uh, three ways like this, or just search by your model number or part number and you can locate it on the parts list. See you next time, thank you very much for watching.